I'm Lennox Wiley, candidate for school board, St. Lucie County, District 2. On February 7, 2018, when I filed to become a candidate for school board, I knew that to unseat Carol Hilson, a longtime incumbent, would be a very heavy lift. But I filed anyway, and as it turned out, Carol has decided not to run. I'm telling you this because I believe it speaks to who I am. It speaks to my passion and conviction. It speaks to my commitment and to the fact that I made this decision because I want to represent you, us, we the people who seem not to have a voice in helping to shape the educational policies that affect the lives and future of our children and their children. My dear friends and neighbors, in this so-called new normal, when a pandemic is wreaking havoc on our society, random violence pervades, defiles, and diminishes the sanctity of the educational system, we need to elect someone who would put the safety of our children first. I want our curriculum to be strong, our institutions to be revered, and our schools to be the safest in the nation. Politicians on Capitol Hill, judges, lawyers in courthouses around the country should be no safer than our children in our schools. I promise you, I would stop at nothing to ensure the safety of each and every child and school in our great county. The numbers are great. Our high school graduation rate is maintained at over 90%. We would continue on this excellent trajectory, but more than focusing just on the numbers as a whole, I would work to ensure that there is equity for all students, that students who learn differently are given the tools they need to become high achievers. My door would always be open to the working mother who has to travel to one bus stop with one child, then rush to another bus stop with another child before she can get herself off to work in the morning. They both should ride the same bus and go to the same school. My door would be open to the parent of the special needs child who wants to know that someone is working to ensure the system is responding to her child's needs. I would work to ensure these children are given support, not suspension and that these parents and their children are supported by the system, not shunned by their elected representatives. We have a unique opportunity for change. On August 18th, stand with me, Lennox Wiley, rank and file working class member of the community, and I will make it a full-time job to put our children first.